Good evening. Today's verse was John 14, 21. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them. And I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. You know, this is an interesting verse because it covers a whole bunch of different topics all wrapped in a couple different phrases. So first of all, those who accept thy commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. So this implies, and it is in fact the case, that one of the forms of showing love is obedience. If we look at a situation between a, a, a parent and a child, one of the things that the parent expects from the child is obedience, not only for their own safety, but for their own education so they can learn and, and grow and be responsible adults as they get older. And that's kind of what God is telling us here. He's given us commandments to follow, guidelines to make our lives easier, not because necessarily he just wanted to control us. I mean, let's face it, he gave us free will, so clearly he didn't want to have control. He wanted us to choose the right way. But he gave us guidelines. He gave us commandments. He gave us examples of things to do and things not to do and how to live obediently. So if we choose this, then we show our love to him by doing the things he told us to do and by not doing the things that he told us not to do. And he goes further on to say that because they love me, my father will love them. Now, this is interesting because we know that God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, they're all wrapped into one. And Jesus was God on earth. So not only do we love him, and in fact, his father will love him because he is his father in that regard. But I love this next phrase of this, and I will love him and reveal myself to each of them. Now, to me, one of the things that pops out here was, I will reveal myself to them. Well, I think and wonder that if in that, in that revealing, is that the Holy Spirit? Is that the third form? Because he speaks of the Father and the Son, and in the, the revealing process, clearly that could be the Spirit that walks along with us after we accept Him. So if we accept His commandments and we obey them, then we are showing we are Christians by our love. I think there was a song that said that. So God knows, and he has told us, and Jesus has explained to us that, we, that, that the world will know that we are Christians by the way we act, by the way we treat others. So clearly, if we obey, if we show love, if we go show God's love without judgment, just go show his love, then we will be forwarding an example of exactly who God wants us to be. And in that, we can also then work towards the great, um, the great commission of going and being disciples. Let's face it, we can't act one way and then speak another. That makes us a hypocrite. And that's one of the things that has undermined the church and, and in some cases made the church look very bad is the people that are, that are making mistakes intentionally if they're, if they're being a hypocrite, my, my definition of a hypocrite is somebody who's saying one thing with the intent to do another, but is different from being a broken person, which we all are, saying something in hopes that we can do that and striving toward that and falling short. And failing to be perfect does not make us hypocrites. It makes us human. And it makes us what God is looking for, for us to fall in our brokenness, brokenness to go back to him, to repent, to reconcile our relationship with him, to spend time with him, getting to know him. Because let's face it, if we don't know him, then we couldn't possibly know his commandments. We couldn't understand exactly what he means when he says, thou not shalt, thou shalt not commit murder. That it also doesn't mean not killing somebody, but it means not verbally murdering them, not speaking poorly of them. There's so much more than the the worldly view of what the words actually mean. There's the spirit of the commandments, not just what the words actually say as we try to reason and negotiate our way through them today as we as a human race have become great to do. But if we spend time with God and we get to know him and we let him know us, then we develop that personal intimate relationship with him and we actually know who he is and then we can fully understand the commandments and we can accept them and then we can choose to obey them to be obedient in love be obedient to god so that we can show what christian love looked like and then the father will know us and love us because we followed the commandments 
We followed God's commandments and we followed all the, the stories and the guidelines and the explanations that were giving us by his son. And we follow the spirit that's in our heart that walks with us every single day once we accept him so that we can do better at remembering the commandments and following those guidelines. So again, John 14, 21, those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my father will love them and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. Father God, thank you so much for so much information packed into three short sentences. Father God, there's so much meaning in the things that you have written down in your word for us to follow and things that, Lord, we can ponder for so long and, and see so many messages and how they apply to our lives. But we understand that you wrote these down as guidelines for us. You wrote them down as ways for us to live a more peaceful, shalom life and in us to walk in that intimate relationship with you and have you with us every single day. We know that you are with us, but Lord, we want to be with you. And I pray that we can find our way and find our time such that we can slow down and we can stop and we can get to know you. We can spend the time in the word, in, in, in your presence and in worship with you and for you. And Father God, I ask that you look over that everybody that that hears this and, and those that, that may just hear it in passing. Lord, I ask that, you, that you, you give peace to everybody. We head into some crazy times and some holiday seasons where we get busy and sometimes, Lord, we miss the message. But Father God, please slow us down so that we can spend moments with you in quiet and in peace and we can appreciate who you are in our lives. Father God, thank you for your mercies, for your grace. Thank you for your forgiveness and thank you, Lord, for your eternal love. In the name of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. When you move, I'll move. I will follow you. Who you love, I love. How you serve, I serve. If this life I lose, I will follow you, yeah. 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 I will follow you. I pray that you have a fantastic evening. Take a few moments, sit in silence, and spend a few moments with God in his presence, intimately getting to know him, and stop and ask him to know your heart, to spend time with you, to look in you, and walk with you every day for the rest of your life. God bless you. Have a fantastic night. We'll see you soon.